The homework was um about supervision and vigilance. It was observe your observe your thoughts that come to you in your mind after like praying, studying, eating, etc. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so um for praying, like after I was praying, I was thinking about the what what the prayers I had just said and whether or not I had said it like wholeheartedly. After eating, I was I would thank mommy for the for making the food and observing the taste. And after school, I reflect on whether I broke or any of the codes of conduct and mentally correcting myself. I also reflect reflect on what I had learned that day. Yeah, do we? 
after eating, I will usually think of um how the taste was and how good I liked it. And then after playing, I would think of um, did I use um did I really focus on what I was saying and not uh, like just say it, say it because um I had to and how many mistakes did I make. And for studying, I would uh, make sure that I'm listening and understanding everything that a teacher is teaching. Um, after eating, I observe the taste of what I ate. After studying, I try and remember what I studied and see if I remember everything correctly. And after praying, I like observe whether I actually said it wholeheartedly and did not just say it for the sake of saying it. Did you face, did you verify with your mama? For the taste? Food taste, did you check with mama whether you're right or wrong? Yeah. Okay, like, I, I know what she put, so, yeah. That's not, that's cheating though. Did you taste it? <laughs> huh? yeah. she, doesn't, she doesn't put caro, she puts salt, so. Right? Yeah. Okay. Dhruvi, did you check with your mama? Sometimes I forgot, but the other times, yeah, I did. Let's see. Same as Dhruvi, sometimes I forgot, sometimes I did. Hey, check. Kush, where are you hiding, Kush? Yeah. How come you're hiding today? Okay, did homework, homework. Uh, yeah, so I wrote that first, um, whenever I eat, after I eat, um, I think some, whenever it's good, I say it's good. And in my mind, I think that this is good. But whenever I, my mom makes something bad, I would say it's good. But inside my mind, I would think that how can anybody make something like this bad? After studying, I would think that um, did I actually did I just write it down and listen to the did I actually just listen to the teacher and like wrote it down properly or did I just write it down for the sake of writing it down and for the prayers? If I did I just say it so I can finish it and do something else or did I actually do it and like mean what I say? Okay, what grade would you give? As for you, as a supervisor, uh, like a eight. Like a what? Eight. Eight out, out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Seven. Seven. Ruby. Around eight. Eight. Let's see. It has me. Eight. Eight. Eight, eight, around seven. How about the, were you happy? Happiness, what about the supervision of happiness? All week. What score would you give? That's it, that's it? Or you didn't for check the, it? For, like, for observing. Hmm? For like the score for observing, like whether we observed everything properly. So you didn't to check your happiness all, all week. This is a part of homework too, right? Can you repeat? Your voice is very low. I'm sorry? Your voice is very low. Can you repeat, please? I cannot understand what you say. Your voice is very low. Please repeat what he said last. Did you hear that? It is me. Yes. Did, uh, did you hear that? Please repeat what you said lastly. You can't hear? Oh, I can. I um, you repeat. You want uh, me? She's yeah. She, she could not hear what you said last. Oh, week. homework was also happiness. How you grade your happiness over the week, all week? Did you hear me? No, that was not our homework. We were just told to. Observe what we okay. Anybody? Are you happy now? Okay, this is Gaza. Yeah. 
see one thing our inner god is full of knowledge it spreads the light of knowledge in every activity of our mind speech and body and specifically the five senses so what we are supposed to do in supervision our job is to see understand and uh, find out what exactly is happening not what you are doing apparently you may feel that you are doing but principally it is just happening that's what dada said everything in the world just happens outside in the world and within our body our body itself is the replica minuscule of the outside world so when we have a very sharp and focused supervision then we will be able to know our mistakes in its smallest form and it is a natural tendency that once we see our mistake we are definitely going to correct them and we are suffering because of our mistakes we fail because of our mistakes so when you supervise it with full focus with full sharpness then what would happen you will gradually uh, see all your mistakes and when you know your mistake definitely you're going to correct them and when you correct them you will definitely end up in succeeding because your success story depends on how well you supervise how well you correct your mistakes and that's how you get your results like to the this time you said some said 7 some said 8 out of 10 but then because the perfection of that supervision is like the knowledge like illumines all the activity but we are lost somewhere you understand that we don't so it's like see this light is there this light is showing me everything but i overlook certain things and i get hurt i dash with the something while walking do you understand this so when you are very well determined to see determined to see your determination that i want to see everything that happens within it as we within dhruvi within hc within moksha within kush so then what is going to happen the light will help you see what is happening it will help you supervise what is happening and when all the mistakes are eliminated you have full success with you do you understand so this is where our determination is very important that yes i want to see i want to supervise and on the uh, operating side i want to do my work perfectly like i want to get good grade ah it's very boring i don't like this then that itself will not help you remain well focused uh, on your studies or whatever you're doing and there are chances of great failure right that's why it is said supervision dialogue reporting reporting is like you are uh, what is a uh, inscribing your mistake your jotting down your mistake jotting down your uh, performance and when you read your own performance then you will feel you will understand how well you did and definitely it will further help you resolve more firmly that you want to achieve this result did you understand did you understand so this is what we are having this mechanism and we are the living aspect in this matter or doing this 
universe of the mind speech body what you are do you understand as i am hitasvi i am dhruvi i am kush i am hc do you understand so you are taking full advantage of the knowledge light within that is dada bhagwan's light and that's how dada bhagwan is going to help you succeed and reach the highest goal of our life as permanent happiness jai sri ram thank you okay so to, to look into further how many times do you eat in a week people don't hello eat. people don't eat hello more than like 27 20 at least 21 times at least yeah right so yeah. every time 21 times do you really supervise yourself how fast you eat how, how much in a rush you were how much relax you were and ate for half an hour for eight and two minutes that is the focus why don't you start supervising that way same thing work study you know how many times uh, kushali irritated you how many times kushali burst into your room while you're studying did you concentrate on the study well does that make sense and that does none you know how many times you violated this nine code of conduct How many times in a day we get a chance to work on nine conduct? Nine codes of conduct? Two times? The whole Three day. Times? Huh? You have the whole day. No, but how many times do you think you get encounter things which will affect nine diamonds? Most of the time. Yeah, like many, 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 many times a day. Right. The thought is never you. Know, the mind is never stopping. Then when you're home, you're dealing with Bobiyan, Dada, now, Mama. Right. Let's see when Mama comes home from school, teaching, her moods. So you know. So we'll continue this homework. and focusing on this kind of that's some mistakes i think the book that is saying that we want to be aware of once you are aware of the mistakes they gradually will go right with the other your mute going on bad supervision so bad in, incomplete information and incomplete information means or all your actions won't be correct and that is where your progress or your performance goes down do you understand so everything is focused on our decision how firm how clear how strong is your decision that i want to supervise perfectly and finally also say that yes when, whenever every time i see the mistakes i will correct them so whatever you have decided to do it will happen so all your effort should be on the decision side not on the doing side because the doing side circumstances will help you fulfill accomplish your decision whatever you have decided to do all your uh, resources that is your mind speech body and the surrounding circumstantial support what you need from the nature it will all come to your help come to your rescue because of your decision only if your decision is weak not firm then you don't come across right circumstances evidences supporting evidences to fulfill your decision but if it is firm it is strong then it it's like nature will be forced to 
supply you with all those evidences which will give you whatever you have decided. So for anything to make it happen, you must decide to do it. Then other things will follow naturally. Can you understand? That's all. This is the principle of happening. How things happen. You decide and it will happen. If you uh, analyze backwards, reverse way, try to understand every time you have succeeded, every time things have happened, you have performed, then you will understand that your efforts were all in that direction in your decision. And other things help you achieve your decision, fulfill your decision. So this is how this principle, when you use, it is the try to say, what you decide naturally happens. And you have decided one, but then that decision should be free from all contradictions. For example, I have decided I want to be happy, but if I keep giving trouble to others, then this contradiction of mine will not help me achieve my happiness, acquire my, uh, my happiness. Do you understand? I want to get good grades, but I am not studying well. So that contradiction is very dangerous. It will not help you give your performance. Do you understand? Yeah. That's where it is very important. Just make a very firm and strong decision and you will see everything falling in its place for you to succeed. And then no compromise. So it is said, you force your mind, force your mind to follow your decision. You don't follow your mind. Do you understand? See, let us take a case. You have to work, you have to do something, something very important. But your mind tells, why don't I do that? We, in our understanding, we say, chore has come. A thief has come, which is snatching you, your resources, and it doesn't allow you to fulfill or accomplish your goal. Do you understand? So this is where you force your mind to help you accomplish your decision. You don't follow your mind. You follow your decision. And if mind tries to contradict, tries to weaken your decision or go against your decision, don't listen. Do you understand? See, it's again depends on how firm your decision is, that's how your decision will work. And your mind will not try to play games with you. And we want that. And mind is not playing games with you. But you have made your mind like that. So if you are firm in your decision, however your mind will go against your decision, you're not going to listen to your mind. Sorry, buddy. You're not helping me. You're not talking what I want. You're not guiding me correctly. I can't listen to you. And he doesn't say you'd listen to me. But for us to achieve and accomplish our goal, we must follow our decision. That's why he said, once decided, we don't even listen to ourselves. That decision only follows. That's it. So, uh... Uh, what was the stuff you said? Okay, decision what you want to do. What does it mean to you? That's it. Hey, you're not audible, I think so. We can't hear you. Let's say you're not audible. Why? Can you hear me? Yeah, now, yes. Yeah. Talk loudly, please. Question. 
The question was decision. What does decision? What decision? What you want to do mean, right? Yeah. What does it mean to? Okay. You? So what I think it means is that um, when I decide that I want to do something, like let's say I want to get high marks on on my upcoming test, um, my like, and I want to do that, I should get my mind to alter its thoughts to support me with that decision instead of help trying to get me to contradict with it. Very good. Yeah. So, when you wake up, how many decisions do you make? Can't hear. I decide to get out of the bed. No, yeah, and it goes on and on and on that. So, if your mind says, eh, then what happens? You stay in bed. Bed. Yeah. So I think this is what Dipu Dada is saying. So Hikasvi, how many decisions do you have to make every once you start waking up? A lot. <laughs> yeah. And then how many Starts times? Starts waking up and then ends with going on, like going to sleep on time. And then again, waking up on the right time. Yeah. And then what happens? Uh, 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 all the time is, you know, you either go with your mind or you don't go with your mind. And no, most then, of the time I go with my mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and <laughs> you forget about goal. Yeah. Yeah, so but that is, I think, what uh, Dipal Dada is trying to say is, uh, you know, we just want to, uh, you know, be aware of of our mind, our decisions, and it goes with it or not. Okay, okay. So uh, I'll give you an example. What had happened? It is very uh, striking one. You know, once it so happened, Dada decided to go to a place and uh, give Gnan to a saint. Uh, Jain Saint Sadhu. And unfortunately, he was not doing good. His health was really, really bad. And everyone said, Dada, let us postpone. Let us postpone. You know what he said? I don't mind postponing. But once I succumb to this uh, decision because once i have decided come what may i must follow my decision so he said i don't want to weaken my mind uh, with great difficulty i have achieved this state wherein i don't listen to my mind so he said i don't want to weaken my decision so he continued with the decision and finally, everything went well. He gave Gran, and then everything went well. And he, then he was, yes, little, uh, his health was really bad. They came back. But you know what he was saying? That these ups and downs of health will come. It may appear that, sorry to say, but Dada had said, it may appear like, oh, the end time has come. But no, it's not like that. Yeah, it may appear things, but then you don't know the order of Yavastit, that is, order of nature. How can you just decide if the situation gets bad, it can get worse, but if that's not the final thing. So unless it happens, don't accept. Put all your efforts, positive efforts. Don't succumb to your mind's weaknesses. And this solely depends upon your decision. That's why Dada said that we are going. I don't want to weaken my mind by make, changing my decision. Some circumstances may not be favorable, but you stick on to your decision. Do you understand? But finally it happened. They went and finished the work. Okay? Yeah, but that's... Uh... Really, really strong will, right? Oh, my God. Uh, even I think 
it's not that easy, but when we listen to such a uh, strong example, then our firmness, our decision also becomes very strong without any contradiction. Everybody got that? Okay. Uh, this week, can you, uh, Hatsi, can you do Trinata, please? Namo Vitra, guys. Namo Vitra, guys. Namo Vitra, guys. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Eso Panchanamukaro. Eso Panchanamukaro. So, the Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Jai Satchidanan. 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 Jai